So KRAD development has been in progress for roughly four years now. <clears throat> so the, the challenges we've had to the development of this, not the consumption of it, but to the development, is that applications have been consuming the framework in parallel since really its start. My plan, I, I mean, maybe we had a couple months, and then they started consuming when we were building. And that gets you into a situation where you have constant high demand for new features. You know what I mean? Um, you know, they're trying to build, and they, you know, they're wanting to pull stuff for you. So um, once you get with that initial decision for architecture, there's not a whole lot of time to sit back and reflect after that. <laughs> you just roll with it and start cranking out new features. Um, lack of UX standards, change in requirements. Uh, you know, we didn't have a UXI project when we started off. Uh, we had some really good resources from Quality Student, which was great. Um, but, you know, we went through a lot of changes in terms of look and feel and components that, that the applications weren't going to use and so forth. So that's definitely been a challenge for us. And, of course, over this period, we've seen a lot of great change in just the software industry itself. Uh, probably, you know, uh, the most change in a period that in my career I can remember um, in terms of things, you know, drastically changing. Okay. So those are some of the challenges that, that uh, you know, implementing KRAB would come up uh, over the past four years. Uh, the successes of it so far is we now have all quality applications on one framework. And, you know, uh, again, part of this big picture is to make sure everybody understands how big of a deal that is for the community. It really is a big deal. And so we're there now, which is good. Um, we have had some implementations. My plan was implemented. Michigan State wrote COM with KRAD. Hopefully we'll contribute that at some point. And our smarts wrote a handful of apps with KRAD that are in production. And, of course, uh, Quality Student and Quality Coeus have made lots of great progress and are creating some really nice UIs uh, with the framework. So uh, there's been challenges, but there's been a lot of good success so far. So that's my history, <laughs> brief history lessons. Anybody have any questions or other comments you want to add? Monday morning, right? <laughs> I don't know if this was a good one for Monday morning or not, but... <laughs> There was a concern, I guess you said four or five years ago, when KRAM was being built, the technology for KNS were a little bit out of date and trying to update that technology. Yeah. Is that a, isn't that going to be sort of a ongoing concern that every five years, yeah. a new technology, and what happens to KRAM every five years? So, oh, now it's 10 years. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm curious. Yeah. yeah. Um, did we want to restate that question? Uh, people online, they have trouble hearing the audience. Oh, okay. And, um, so, so the question was, uh, when I was talking about the, when we were beginning KRAD, you know, one of the goals was out-of-date technology, uh, in particular struts and OJB. And, you know, the question, the, the point was, isn't that going to be an ongoing thing? You know, every four or five years, we're going to have, or even smaller, we're going to have the same kind of thing. And I think that's, that's true. Um, we're going to do, uh, when I talk about moving forward, there's going to be a community survey going out um, within the next two weeks from the RICE team to all of the partners uh, about questions like that. How do you feel about that technical debt? How do you feel about um, when we should be upgrading our toolkits? Um, for example, is it never? Or is it in the case of OJB when a tool is, you know, no longer active? You know, they're, they're not doing any development on OJB. Or um, is it more frequent, you know, um, to keep, should we be trying to stay up with the most recent version? Questions like that, which are, um, are very hard questions when you deal with software of this size, you know. Um, so, you know, I don't, personally, you know, we wonder the same thing. And that's, a, you know, something I think our community needs to answer, you know. Um, so I'll talk a little bit more about that in a bit. Anything else? Is it all quality apps? So, what about CM? Was it transferred from GWG to. Oh. I know I think it was supposed to be some built on that, right? Your client has a lot of that, right? <laughs> 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 
that <clears throat> that's an ongoing effort right now. So CM, which was Quality Student's first product, uh, is being converted right now from GWT to KRAD. Yeah. So maybe we're not quite there yet. Well, I mean, you know, not everybody's on KRAD yet either. Uh, financial systems not on KRAD. They're, they're on the previous development framework. So we're not all in the same framework yet, but we're all on RICE. <laughs> They're moving th towards that. So yeah, Everything is either already there or have plans, like yeah. significant plans to be there. Yep. Anything else? Was this history helpful for anybody, or has everybody already heard it? A little bit? Okay. Yeah. Good. Okay. All right. Yeah, so this will be about... Okay, great. Thank you.